first found out that I had breast cancer when I went to the Nightingale Centre at Withenshaw Hospital and it took quite a while to get my head around it. I never doubted I'd get better, which, you know, I think probably helped me quite a lot. And although I was worried because I'd never had an operation and obviously I'd never had chemo, I was never frightened of the cancer and I was never angry, which I know some people feel, but for me that didn't happen. I found the care at the Nightingale Centre to be, on the whole, a mainly positive experience. When you first get there, it's light, it's clean, it's airy. There's a sense of calm, which I think really helps when you're under this, in this sort of situation. The, um, my consultant, Mr Gandhi, and Leslie, the breast care nurse, were so patient. They'd listen to all my questions, they'd answer them all, you know, however daft they might seem. The first time you go to Christie's, I found it quite an overwhelming experience. The outpatient side of the building where you go for the first appointment, um, it's dark, it's really busy. Um, you actually see a lot of ill people there. Um, and going to Christie's can only mean one thing basically, that you know, you've got cancer and you're there to be treated. So it, I did find it very overwhelming. The appointment began with the oncologist explaining survival rates. Now to me, this was a huge shock because I never doubted I was going to get better, so it came out of the blue and I really didn't expect it. Um, so that threw me quite a lot. The breast care nurses at Christie's I found particularly good because the doctors were perhaps slightly less approachable there. And so it was good to have an in with your breast care nurse in that way. The second oncologist I saw at Christie's, personally, I found a little bit offhand like it was too much trouble for him and he couldn't particularly be bothered, you know, when I went for my appointment to sign up actually to have my chemo. Um, he didn't fill in my um, district nurse authorisation form, which could have caused problems. Another time when I needed to have steroids prescribed before I started my chemo, that prescription wasn't ready. I think having the options to see somebody else if need be was good because if he'd been your allocated person, I think the experience wouldn't have been as positive as perhaps it could be. One of the best things I thought at Christie's was they have a Christie hotline so that you can ring 24 hours a day if there's a problem. I found the Christie hotline really, really helpful and it's reassuring to know it's there so that you know who you do need to contact if you're ill while you're having your chemo. Although my overall experience was mainly in the positive throughout the whole of my treatment, there are a few things that in the ideal world would make the experience go more smoothly and relieve some of the stresses. Um, I was surprised because I had to go to Leeds for a biopsy because Withenshaw didn't have the, uh, the type of scanner they need to do, a biopsy and an MRI scanner, so I had to go to Leeds for that, um, which was, a, like I say, it was a surprise because you'd think somewhere like Manchester would have the appropriate equipment. Um, getting the appointments with the physios, um, it, it's something that I think probably should be improved across the whole of the NHS, it's not just for cancer, but the physio I saw was fantastic and she certainly so, sorted me out, but trying to get an appointment with her because she was so busy was tricky. Um, the queuing system at Christie's for the bloods because they are so busy, um, in an ideal world if that could be improved. The pharmacy again, the queues, it's mainly all the queuing, the things that add the stress that you don't really need and in theory should be relatively easily sorted out. One aspect of my care that I was a little um, confused about was I wasn't sure who I needed to be seen by if there was a problem. Because it's the first time I'd ever been in the hospital system, I didn't realise that you might need to go back to your GP for certain things, like for example when you had oral thrush to get a prescription. Um, and being between the Nightingale and the Christie, I wasn't sure exactly who I needed to tell what or ask what to. So I think if that was signposted a little bit better, that would have made things slightly easier. I first found out about the Macmillan Cancer Improvement Partnership through my employer. We get emails at work telling us about events in Manchester and other happenings. And so I saw it on that and I thought, well, I've had cancer, so perhaps I can share my experiences and tell my story. Um, I went to a Macmillan workshop to find out more about it, um, which has spurred me on because <laughs> um, I did find that very useful and it reassured me about the whole partnership and how, what the process would be. So I'm hoping that by listening to people's experience, positive and more negative ones, good practice can be rolled out across the whole of the cancer services in Manchester so the patients 
can have the best possible treatments available to them and feel that they're supported throughout their treatment. I feel it's really important that patients and their carers are involved in the improvement process because at the end of the day they're what it's all about. They can bring their own experiences to the table, share them with everybody because I think it's not until you've actually had cancer or looked after somebody with cancer that you know what it's about. You truly don't. You might imagine you do, but you really don't know until you've actually been in that situation yourself. And I think it's important for them to be able to still keep reminding all the health professionals, the doctors, the people planning, you know, healthcare services, the nurses, everybody, even right down to receptionists at the hospital, to keep remembering that it's the patient and the impact that their actions have and their decisions have on the patients. I think it's really important to keep that at the top of the agenda.